One question I am getting a lot is how can I get the components to build a VC Mini? We'll look at that in this video. Let's get started. So you want to build a VC Mini, but how can you get all these components you're going to need? Because there's quite a lot of stuff going into the VC Mini. Well, let's talk about the two most specific uh, components, which are the PCB and the enclosure. Because this is not stuff that you can buy from any shop. Uh, the PCB I designed and you can actually buy it of me. Send me an email on 68soundcontrol at gmail.com and I will, I'm happy to send you the board. And here is the 3D printed enclosure. And uh, we'll look at some uh, possibilities if you don't know anybody with a 3D printer or you don't have one yourself. Where you could possibly uh, have this made for you. Uh, but before you start ordering stuff, uh, you need to decide which kind of uh, VC Mini do you want. And the difference is in the display. You can get a, a monochrome display or you can get a colored uh, RGB backlit displays. And there's actually three types and you'll have to choose between these three types. Um, there's one thing I need to explain. This has to do with the displays. I have here two displays. This one is from Buy Display from China and this one is from Adafruit. And as you can see the uh, boards behind the displays are exactly the same size. The holes are in the same position. But there is a difference in the size of the bezel, if I pronounce it correctly. And uh, therefore I have two designs for the top bit of the enclosure. Um, this one is for Adafruit and you see it, uh, the Adafruit display fits really nice and really tight. And if I would put the uh, by display one in, you see there's actually quite a large uh, gap on the top and the, uh, of the bottom. And even worse, if you would print the other one uh, with the smaller hole here and you would try and fit the Adafruit bezel in, it will not fit. Because obviously that one has a smaller hole. So you will have to decide uh, which components you're going to buy. Uh, you do get a complementary pin header and a potentiometer for the brightness of the display with it. The other components you can all get off uh, internet and uh, we'll look uh, at some possible sources where you could get them. I have started a browser and we're going to look at some possible sources to uh, find the components. The starting place should be github.com.687 and here you can find the vcontroller v3 repository and inside here you will find the vc mini building guide. And this building guide I actually uh, have the version in, uh, in Word. This is the same document. Um, here you will find the bill of materials and next to the bill of materials are links to all the proper parts. But it's uh, quite a bit of work to actually get the parts from here. But I wanted to make life even easier for you. And here is the page called how to order. And here is the first link that will take you to Reichelt. And this is for people that live in Europe. Um, and the Reichelt list I actually have here in the browser. It's over here. Um, Reichelt list is pretty much complete. What's not on the list is the uh, monochrome display or uh, RGB backlight display. They're just not on there. The WS2811 chip is not on there. NeoPixel LEDs are not there, but you can find them at other sources. Also the Arduino stackable header kit, they don't do. And a 7 pin MIDI connector. There is a 5 pin one on the list, but if you want a proper 7 pin, you'll have to look elsewhere. We will look in a moment how to get uh, these things from other sources. The Teensy 3.6 is on the list, but it's quite expensive. You can get it a lot cheaper. And also the foot switches. Uh, I don't really like the foot switches 
uh, that Reichel does. There's a click in them, and I don't particularly like that. So I usually just get the momentary soft touch foot switches. We'll look at that in a minute. In a, in a minute. Uh, for the people in the USA, I made a, a DigiKey list. And uh, this list uh, I also have in my browser. Um, and when we look at that, well, it looks good. Only some items are very, very expensive. Um, you can save some money on a display, but that's not the big one. Here's a big one. Uh, these switches are very expensive, but you may like them and you can get them. Other items that are expensive, I think uh, these MIDI connectors are very expensive, relatively speaking. And the rest is okay. If you actually pull out a number of items uh, of this list, because the price is quite high, 113, but uh, if you pull out the uh, the display, the chipset, the megapixel, the foot switches, and the five pin MIDI sockets, the price will be down to sixty-two dollars. Okay, uh, the parts that are not on the DigiKey list are the PCB switch connectors, again seven pin MIDI connector, and the Lumberg one. And this is a bit of a tricky one. It's quite hard to get these parts in the U.S. You could always contact me and I can see if I can get them for you. Or here is an alternative source at Amazon and the link is in the document that uh, somebody found who uh, built this uh, in the US. So you can make your choice, uh, pull out the items that you don't want. Um, I also get a lot of stuff at eBay. Let's have a look at that. Foot switches. I just look for a momentary foot switch, uh, soft touch, and when I type that, I usually find uh, these. Uh, and anything that looks like this is usually good. Here's this is an okay price. Around two dollars each, you could get them, and uh, you'll just have to wait, and they'll send it to you. The other thing is uh, the NeoPixel LEDs you can get, and I forgot the number, I'll have to quickly go back to the list. Uh, where is it? Uh, PL9823F5, oh, let's just copy that. You can look for those as well and uh, get those a lot cheaper by uh, just going into the list, and um, here you have 10 for a lot less. Here you have 5 for under $2. There you go. So that's a bit of money saved. Um, a few more items. Uh, oh, yes, the uh, WS2811 chip. Again, something I would get. Uh, I usually get these from eBay because they're a bit overpriced. Uh, so there's a lot of money to be saved, unless you can't be bothered with all of this, and then you just uh, pay whatever you like. Uh, and the chips are these, and here you have 10 for just around a dollar. So that's again a bit of money saved. Also, you can find the uh, uh, by display, displays here by display uh, 16 by 2 black will usually get you to the proper one, and then this would be the proper one 5 volts for around five dollars. You can have the monochrome version of the display. Oh, yes, yeah, 7 pin uh, MIDI. We can look at that. That is a bit tricky because you need to get the one with the proper footprint. Usually, there's a lot of DIN stuff, but I usually look for something that looks like this. Oh, here you go. 10 pieces. And our 5 pieces. Oh, that has a lot of shipping, but I think I got these before. And this is the proper footprint. It must have these uh, extra legs at the back. So this is the right footprint. You can also find this one. That is the wrong footprint. Let's have a look at the 3D printing process. 
On GitHub, you can find the VC Mini hardware, and inside there, you will find the uh, STLs for the enclosure. There is the lower cover that looks like this, and you can actually download it here. Uh, and then there is the upper cover, and here you need to get the correct version. If you have the Adafruit display, you use this one. If you use the by display version, then you can get the second one. So make sure you have the right one, and also download that one. You can use these STLs to do a print yourself, but if you have no option to do this, you can do the next thing. You can go to 3dhubs.com, and over here, you can actually get an instant quote. Uh, here you have the option to select the STLs that we saved before. Let's see where they are. Lower cover and upper cover. I'll select both. And right now it'll do a quote. But the first quote will be quite expensive because it will base it uh, upon the wrong material. So what we really want to do is uh, go for ABS and over here we want to say I want a hundred percent infill and I want the thickest layer and we need to get the proper color and then we can say apply to all parts and see what it does then that ABS and now you see the price is not that bad, 33 euros for uh, all parts. If you're happy with this, uh, you can continue to save the quote and uh, find uh, somebody who will actually print it for you for this price. I don't think this is too bad and it's a great option to get a 3D print if you're unable to make it yourself. I also have the option to make it of PLA. You can get a nice wood fill on here if you want that, or if you like it, or a metal fill. And right now, see the price has gone down to 25. PLA is slightly less strong, uh, it's a bit easier to print. Uh, it's slightly less strong than ABS, but uh, I often print with PLA, and so far uh, none of my enclosures have uh, broken. That's all for now. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you have a good picture of how to get the components for the VC Mini. Do check out my other videos on the workings of the VC Mini and how to build it. There's also links in the description. Have a great day.